getting towards the end of the day, and I don't know about you, but hearing some of these speakers, I am going to take what these women have said for the rest of my life. So let's give them all a hand. Now, as Elizabeth said, I am a journalist. I cover foreign affairs. Um, and I've been to over 80 countries, and I've been fortunate to meet a lot of world leaders. Um, they're just like you and me, but they have a lot of wisdom that I've been able to impart in my own life, and I think we can all impart some of it. And I'm going to share three with you today. And I call them the three Ps. Putting yourself in someone else's shoes, playing the long game, and parlaying a crisis into an opportunity. Look at this little girl. She's walking in her mother's shoes, looking at her father's shoes. She may be a little uncomfortable, even difficult, but she probably gained a new respect for her parents walking in their shoes. This is former Secretary of State John Kerry. You may remember that he also ran for president in 2004 and lost. I went to hit Afghanistan with him when he met with these two men, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah, the chief executive of the country. They held an election in 2014, and they were deadlocked. Neither one would concede defeat. The country was paralyzed. Now, Secretary Kerry traveled to Afghanistan, and he said, I've been where you've been. I know what it's like to lose an election, but I still needed to put my country forward, and so can you. Imagine this guy was running for leader of the free world, using his painful experience to help these two men put their country first and say, you can both have a victory if you do. And they ended up having a power-sharing government. Kerry was putting himself in someone else's shoes. This is the Dalai Lama. I was fortunate enough to meet him in 2010, and if you were in the room with me, you would have been startled by what he said. This is a man whose country has faced genocide. He's been exiled from his country of Tibet, living in India, and he said, the Chinese have forced me out of my country, but I still try to understand where they're coming from. If you never understand your opponent, you're never going to have agreement. He was putting himself in their shoes. Unbelievable, right? Now, in my own life, I have to do this every day, and so do you. You say something to a friend, and they snap at you. You ask a colleague for help, and they turn you down. Your inclination is to be offended. But what is it about these people? What is their pain? What is their sadness? What is their fear that they're going through? I encourage you to put yourself in someone else's shoes. It may be uncomfortable, but if you see the world through their eyes, you may gain a new perspective and a new power. Playing the long game. Life is not a sprint. It's a marathon. This is president of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. This is the first female president of Africa. And when she came to power in 2006, her country was recovering from years of civil war. It needed everything, schools, roads, hospitals. What did she do? She put her priority in the children, this little girl sitting right here. She said, if I put my country looking forward, if I help the youth, that's going to put us on a better path. She was playing the long game. This is Princess Rima bin Bandar al Sud, the first Saudi ambassador, female ambassador to the U.S., to any country from Saudi Arabia. She grew up in the U.S., and when she moved back to Saudi Arabia, she saw, as we all know, women were oppressed there. They couldn't go anywhere without a man. She said, how am I going to get around this? What should I do? She took a job with a sports authority, and she said, if women can get out of the workplace and play sports, maybe they can go to other places. Maybe I can convince the government that that would be a healthier country and a healthier, more productive country. So that's exactly what she did. 
And she helped pave the way for Saudi women for all these laws to be reduced. She was playing the long game. Now, in my own life, I have to do this all the time. I left CNN after 20 years. I was not happy. It would have been easier to stay and get on the hamster wheel as we all talked about every day today. But I thought, there's more I want to do. I have a greater purpose. And I had to play the long game. And I encourage you to ask yourself, are you running the long game? Or are you getting distracted by those little things in front of you every day? Parlaying a crisis into an opportunity. Look at this woman. She's kind of reaching out in crisis, and someone's there to help her. French President Macron came to office in 2017. He was a promising world leader, but he saw a world in crisis. The US, as we've been talking about, is retreating from world leadership. He saw Europe. The Brits are going to Brexit. It's crazy. A world is in crisis. Europe is in crisis. What did he do? He picked up the baton, and he became a leader of Europe. And now everyone is looking to him to negotiate with Iran, with China, with, with Brexit. He parlayed a crisis into an opportunity. Now, Russian President Vladimir Putin may be a very interesting choice because he created a world in crisis. But what did he do with it? He used this as an opportunity to put Russia in the driver's seat around the world. Now, I don't encourage you to create a crisis to then exploit it. But is there anywhere in your own life where you're having a rough patch, you can turn that into an opportunity? We've heard so many women here today talking about how they turned crisis into an opportunity. And I'll go back to my own path. Left CNN, kind of a, you know, scared. Don't have a paycheck coming in every two weeks. And, you know, it's hard to find my next chapter. But what did I do? I've been able to be there for friends in the last 10 months. I've been mentoring students. I came here, as Elizabeth said, in March for Vital Voices, a women's empowerment program. And I met your co-founder, Lucia, and I'm here with you today. I parlayed my crisis into an opportunity. So we looked at three things that world leaders do very successfully that we can all do. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. Play the long game. Parlay a crisis into an opportunity. This is my challenge to you. Are you putting yourself in someone else's shoes? Are you running the long game? Are you paying a crisis into an opportunity? If I can do it, you can do it. You've got this. Thank you.